So this is a privet Ligristum ovalifolium that was rescued back in 2021 by a guy called David Jewell. Now I got a few of these trees from him and if you're not aware of the guy's work he has done probably some of the best carvings I have ever seen and his garden will just literally blow your mind. Now going back to July 2021 I had to get the tree out of the washing up bowl because it was irritating me and I just couldn't wait to get working on it but I managed to wait until around December the same year until I decided to go to town with a Dremel. Now I wasn't too sure how far I could push this tree as it was my first privet tree working on but I decided just to go with it and do what felt natural to me at the time. Can I remember what Dremel piece I'm using here? But well, it did the job nicely. Um, and as I was carving down, I was practicing trying to get some natural grooves. But I did want to go deeper. Unfortunately, I stopped recording here, but I did get a picture from back then. Now, considering it is still winter and it's a couple of weeks later, the tree responded by growing lovely new buds. And I've decided to put some wire on it just to get the main branches in place to where I want them. The tree is looking absolutely bare, but I know in due time it will start filling out. Springtime 2022 and I've decided to get it out of this mica pot and into a shallower training pot. Um, the root has grown vigorously, it's actually grown a fair bit between the winter and the spring and I was more than happy to do the work on it. We're removing a lot of roots and trying to remove as much as possible of this organic soil. This is also when I started using zero nitrogen feed during repots as they have proven to work pretty good. Now I did plan on adding some moss to this tree as well. But the birds soon had that off. This was before I started using the mesh trick. Uh, yeah, the moss didn't last long at all. Now back in the summer, we've had vigorous growth and now we can start training the smaller twiggy branches. Um, yes, it is an oceanic up there. Um, they gave it to me because I kept pushing their product for a fair bit. And my reward was the cup. Thank you very much. Now if you're wondering, at the time I was using just regular lime sulphur to, to try and preserve the Shari Deadwood Carving Hollow, whatever you'd like to call it. And it did its job, I was fairly satisfied with it, but there was just always something missing to it. Uh, every time I looked at it, it was irritating me. But anyway, we were going through another winter and I could not do what I wanted to do during the winter to add the effect. But as soon as it started to thaw out, I knew the time was coming to use the product. So I decided to burn it and the lovely Deadwood Preserve from Grand Potter it came and I just slapped it off. And it was there. I knew it's got what I wanted. So spring 2023 and I decided it's time for another repot. And I managed to find a lovely repot on Etsy from Kilnery Bonsai and I thought it matched it pretty well. We've had lovely root growth, we've got the pot ready and it's just time to get it into the pot. I believe I've been using this metal hook for a few years now using Kaizen number no. 2. But don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with all the details with the repot as you can find them in other videos. And I've added this lovely rock with a lot of spaggy moss. And the tree is well on its way to as I envision and I'm more than happy with it. Now we are back at present time, it's around the 20th of September and now we just need to do some finer details and trim it up for next year. If we spin around the back, there is a branch here that I do want to bring down with a guy wire. I could probably attach it to the same screw that's at the front here, but I'm thinking it's probably going to end up pulling it the wrong way. Now I'm looking for something like a stub so I don't have to drill in, 
and there is a little something here um, it may be too small but we're going to roll with it so i've got half a mil wire and some rubber tubing the rubber tubing is going to be protecting the branch so so we don't get any wire bite on there as it's going to be on there for a fair while this bit's always a bit fiddly with the rubber tubing and the wire just trying to get it in place and hold at the same time and also measuring it to the stump where we want to tie it to i believe this rock is going to have to be a removed while we do it but we found a measurement and we're just going to cut and there we go rubber tubing's falling off so let's get this rock out of the way and try to tie this wire onto the smallest stump that you could imagine but where there's a wheel there's a way so after a bit of a struggle getting the wire on that small stump we was successful and now we're just going to keep twisting this wire to bring the branch down So now we have that guy wire pulling that branch down, we can start looking for things that can come off. Discoloured leaves can be discarded as well as the damaged leaves, as there is one here which we are just going to remove easily. There's also some growth that is getting too strong that needs to be removed to create better balance to the tree. Also while doing this we will cut back some finer twigs to improve the ramification in the long run. Now here instead of just cutting back I want to get some wire on here, there's some other places on the tree that I want to do this to, but I just thought I'd show you how to build a natural movement within the branch. Now with half a mil wire, you want to be going onto both ends of this branch. And just very carefully wrap it around, remove the bottom leaves if you need to, and just be really careful as it's very delicate foliage. And we're just gonna wire it around. Now we just need to gently move it into position, widen them apart and giving it a more natural flow. And now we need more wire just above it for the other branches. And it's the same process as before. Just gently wrapping it around the branch and giving the fine branches a more natural flowing state. And then as simple as removing the excess wire. And now after we've got all the wiring out of the way, there still is a fair bit to cut back. And we almost had a casualty. I'm gonna let this little fella live on a tree as long as he want. Wait for you those aphids. And that's our stun for the day. If you liked the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. If not, no worries, and I'll see you in the next one.